hello! Uh, so it's been a really long time since I've made any videos, um, which life, life gets in the way, it's totally fine. Um, and I am currently on, uh, this is a terrible intro. Hello! Hi, Adder! Doll collection video! This is my favorite doll. She's really realistic in her movements and her um, smells and her noises. Uh, she's my favorite. This is Otter. Um, ignore all of the dogs in the background, <laughs> but uh, they're gonna help with the video. Oh, hi, Olive. Um, so today I am here uh, to make a video on something that I keep looking for videos on YouTube for and I haven't really been able to find the kind of video that I want to watch and so I figured I'll make it myself. Um, so I'm going to start off, uh, this is a Pleasant Company uh, Addy collection video. Uh, Addy is this doll right here. She is my favorite American Girl doll um, character and so I thought I'd start off with just some kind of info about how I got into Addie and uh, then we're gonna take a really detailed look at her collection. Um, I have a complete Pleasant Company Addie collection minus one item, one piece of one set of something and I'll talk about that when we get to it. Hi Olive. Oh my gosh, okay, the dogs might get kicked out for this. Um, and uh, I thought I would show it to you, especially because uh, I know a lot of collectors are, you know, going to YouTube to find videos now, and there aren't really many out there on the original Pleasant Company items. And there, um, you know, there are a lot of differences, and there are a lot of variations of things. And for those that are starting out, it, I thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of show you everything that you can find. Um, so this is Addie. I love her books. They're my favorite American Girl books. Every time I watch, or every time I read them, um, I, I just really enjoy it. Uh, her Mystery is my absolute favorite of all of the Addie books um, and of all of the mysteries. I just thought it was really well done. Um, go away, Fern. And um, Addie wasn't actually my favorite as a child. Um, I had Molly as a child. She was my favorite. Um, mainly I liked Molly because she had glasses and braids, which I thought was like so cool. Um, and I also, <laughs> my parents, um, got the Reminisc magazine. I don't know if anyone has ever read that, uh, in the mail and I was obsessed with it as a child. And so a lot of the stories in it were of Molly's era. So I read a lot of them. So when I, I kind of got out of dolls for a while, uh, when I was in college and then I got back into collecting American Girl. Um, right before the pandemic hit, and um, so I reread all of the books uh, just because I wanted to kind of reread them all. And I had never read Eddie's books, and I I love them. Um, since rereading uh, my favorites of the characters, Molly is still my most sentimental like character because she's the one that I had as a kid. But my absolute favorite character is Addie, followed closely by. Um, Josefina and Felicity. Um, so I do have pretty significant collections for them too. They're not complete yet because a lot of their stuff is very expensive. Um, but uh, I'd be happy to do another video to show off kind of their stuff later. Anyway, let's get on to the collection. All right, so Addie was released in 1993, which meant that this was the style of box that was available at the time that dolls were coming in. And if you can kind of see, let's see if I can get it in the light. Um, there are embossed uh, kind of uh, Samanthas all over the boxes. Um, and then at that time, Addie dolls came with a borderless pamphlet. So there's no frame around the picture of the doll. And um, each pamphlet, if you've never seen them before, they kind of go over the um, items included with the accessory set and why they were included. Um, all of the Addy dolls also came with, uh, for the first time, there was a new hang tag. Instead of it just being like caring for your doll's hair, it was specifically for Addy. Um, this is just a bookmark. This is what the Meet Addy book would have uh, looked like. 
This is a hardcover first edition version. Um, you could also get Addie with a soft cover. Um, and this was released right when Addie was, and you can tell because uh, they were, um, she was only released with the first three stories uh, at, at, at a time. So they released the first three and then I think it was like six months later, they released the second three. So those were the paper goods that came with Addie. Now let's see the doll. All right. So the Addie doll, both of these dolls, um, are early pleasant company editions. Uh, the one here on the right is in the meat outfit that, uh, Addie dolls would have come in. So it's a cinnamon pink dress with stripes. Uh, and this dress in Addie's book was given to her, and that was her first dress as a free person. Now, the dress here on the right is the prototype Addie dress. Um, there are quite a few of these floating around. They were, um, I believe, just released at an MCM sale. And so, they're, you know, it was pretty easy for me to find one. Um, so, they made, they made quite a few of these before they initially switched. I don't know what the change was. But you can see that the pattern on the prototype is a cute little leaf design. Um, and then they eventually moved to the sort of pink stripe. Now, Addie also came with a pair of, like, white pantalettes and black socks and a pair of black ankle boots. Now, first edition Addies, and when I say first edition, I mean the very first Addie dolls that were released. Um, and this was, I would say, the first few months they were available because... Um, Later in 1993, they changed this. Um, the Addie dolls were released with grommetless boots. So you can see the boots here have absolutely no grommets. It's just a punched hole on the side of the shoe. And then another difference is the stockings. So um, True first edition Addies have socks that go all the way up to the edge of their hip joint like this. Um, eventually that length was shortened to just above the knee. Um, and then Addie also came with a blue ribbon and her braid was tucked up underneath in a bun. And uh, little earrings, hoop earrings on the side. Now you'll notice this Addie here has silver eye. That means that the paint inside her actual eye has started to detach along the edges. Um, I bought this Addie because I really like the way the silver eye looks when it's symmetrical like that on the edges. So that's why she joined my collection. This Addie, I'm not really sure how old she is. Um, she does have the same mold markings. Um, however, the strings on the back of her neck are a different type. So I'm assuming that she is probably closer to 96, 97. Um, whereas this one for sure was bought probably sometime in late 1993, early 1994. Now, Eddie's meat accessories consisted of um, a shell necklace, uh, which is right here. And the, the early necklaces are shell. This is a real shell, not a molded plastic. Now, they, they initially came on a leather cord, um, which did get very brittle um, in its old age. The cord on this one arrived broken, so she's got um, a piece of, uh, like, string, which is what uh, I have a, an American Girl version came on. Um, the American Girl version, you can see, was just a molded plastic shell. Um, it, the paint job is pretty nice, uh, but it's just one kind of uh, full piece. And then uh, her meat accessories also included a kerchief, um, which is, was tied up in like kind of like a little bag. Um, her half dime, which was given to her by her Uncle Solomon to remind her that freedom has cost. And it came with like this little envelope. And then a drinking gourd, which the initial Addie accessories came with real dried gourds. So that's what these are here. So there was a lot of variation in the different colors and um, size that you would receive. Um, and I just think these are so neat. These are very, very fragile, which is why I'm assuming that they switched to plastic pretty early on. Um, I don't have any of the plastic ones, um, but there also was a, a plastic version that had a, a, like a 
fake stick that kind of plugged to the top. Um, but I, I prefer the, the ones that look real. Um, and then Addie also came with a bonnet. Now the bonnet has gone through a lot of changes. I have a few bonnets here. So the first edition Addie bonnet, this one here was made in 1993. You can see it's uh, a darker color. It's quite uh, short compared to the other ones. And it's got a lot of rows of this like knit, uh, this uh, braided straw. So many, many rows of that. Um, then this one, which was also made in 1993, you can see uh, they added in um, kind of thicker rows so that it, it probably didn't cost as much money to make. It lightened in color. This one is a lot uh, like firmer than this one. This one is very flexible and this one is pretty, pretty firm. And then um, that slowly developed into, you know, even lighter in color. Uh, to then get to kind of this is an American Girl version where it's got the least amount of rows. It's definitely longer on the sides. It's very stiff. Um, but the the ribbon, like the fabric for the ribbon, and pretty much stayed the exact same. But that's that's a good way to tell if you've got like kind of a first run um, is if it is this very tightly woven. And the tag on the inside will read 1993. So now we are on to Addie's school story for Addie Learns a Lesson. Um, and her big ticket item, her desk, was this beautiful double desk. Um, it's got wrought iron um, and a nice like honey colored wood. This opens up on the top and there's a place to put her pencil. Um, there's a little storage underneath. This is very heavy and very big. Um, but it's beautiful. Mine has some nicks on it. I got it pretty inexpensively because of that, uh, but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, and then her school supplies that she had, she has a little striped bag. Um, and inside the striped bag, I have her slate pencil. Mine is broken. So I only have, I have two pieces of it, but a slate pencil, her double slate, which opens up like this a union reader which i love the mini books that would come with the school supplies because they are just they're real which is so neat um that's so cool uh her abacus for counting which works just like a real abacus and then her school lunch her tin pail lunch right here um, which has a little scrap of cloth that her mama tied on to make sure that she knows knows which one's hers and the little lid comes off and inside here is a red checkered napkin, a uh, meat pie, and the the food is a like I, I want to say it's like resin, but it's not um, like the rubbery plastic. It is it's uh, breakable. Um, and then there is uh, a bunch of grapes, and then a bunch of little cookies that spell out the word love, which is just adorable. So cute. So that's Addie's lunch. And Addie's school outfit, which is this lovely wool skirt and jacket and then a little white top. Um, one of my favorite details with this outfit uh, are the different fabrics that are used as the facing on the jacket and the skirt. I feel like that is a little detail that's just really neat because her mother works in uh, the sewing shop. And so um, that would make sense that the, the fabrics that are facing the outfit are different because it's whatever she had on hand. And then uh, the coolest thing is her little medal that she got for winning the spelling bee in class. Now we're on to Addie's Christmas Story, which is one of my favorite books uh, in the Addie series. And I love some of the accessories that are part of this collection. Uh, so here's a picture of the pamphlet. And we will start off with Addie's beautiful green uh, tar tartan uh, plaid dress. Uh, this is so lovely. Uh, the sash has a beautiful little fringe detail. 
on the ends and it came with a lovely green silk ribbon in the story Addie gets this dress from Mrs. Ford it was a dress that her mother had made for a client uh, but then that client either got fat or grew or something but then the dress didn't fit her and they returned it and Mrs. Ford remade it for Addie which I thought was so lovely so that's Addie's Christmas dress this is the gift that Addie gets from her mother. It is her Ida Bean doll, um, which is actually filled with, I don't know if she's filled with like plastic pellets or something, but it does feel like she's filled with beans. She's got tiny little gold earrings. You can see mine are sewn back on with uh, purple thread. That's because uh, they were coming loose. Um, but this is my favorite of the tiny dolls that uh, any of the American Girl dolls have. She's just so cute. She's like, she just is so, so cute. I love that doll. Um, then there's Addie's sewing kit and lamp. It's the needlework kit. Um, and this is actually from the story. So Mrs. Ford gives Addie a needle book with two needles in it. And uh, that's what your kit comes with. It's just a little cardboard needle book, but it's got the two needles inside. Um, a wooden hoop to help you embroider her apron. There are directions and thread. And then the apron itself comes, uh, you can see on this bottom hem here, it came with a very faint print of where you put the embroidery. You can see I've embroidered the top. Um, eventually I'll get around to embroidering the bottom. And then uh, it also comes with a tiny metal lamp. This is so cute. Um, there's a little wick inside and you can see if you roll this, it, you can make the wick come up and off. And then you can also um, move this piece around the edge, which is how they would change the direction that the light would be. And then this is Addie's sweet potato pudding kit. This is the one piece of Addie's collection that I have that is not complete. Um, I am missing one item from this set. And when I tell you what it is, you're gonna think I'm ridiculous. Um, but so first it comes with a, a little recipe on uh, how to make this sweet potato pudding. And then when you open it up, there is a, you know, uh, at home version that you can do that's uh you know updated for now it gives you instructions on how you can season the actual cast iron skillet that you, it comes with um which this this is an actual cast iron pan this is just like uh you know a real one just scaled down which i think is so neat um there's a little wooden spoon for mixing Addie's bowl which this is made by roe pottery who also made kirsten's um, like birthday dishes as well, which is really nice. And then the one piece that I am missing is the sprig of holly that is meant to go on top of the pudding to decorate it. I know it's the dumbest thing to possibly be missing, but that is all I am missing in my Addy collection is a tiny sprig of fake holly, which uh, I'm not going to lie, my little completionist soul really wants to find another of these sets with the sprig of holly to steal it and complete my collection. Um, I just have not yet brought myself to the point of spending $100 or more for that sprig of holly. I know I could then sell the pieces afterwards, but I'm really bad at reselling duplicate pieces. And so I know I would just end up having the duplicates sitting around and that sprig of holly would cost me, you know, over $100, which I have thought about it, have thought about it, have not done it yet. All right, so now we are into Addie's birthday collection, which uh, this is when we really hit, I think, peak Pleasant Company items. The Every single thing in this collection is so beautiful. So um, this is kind of the spread in the catalog and what that looked like. And let's get started with Addie's birthday pinafore and snood. So her pinafore is this really cute chocolate and cream pinafore with little pockets that have rickrack and then her blouse which is double sort of gathered um, in a really pretty cream st narrow stripe with little buttons and rickrack and then that also came with a snood for her hair this would go on the back and then in the ribbon there are two yellow canary feathers and those feathers are from Madeir's bird sunny which is really cool now um, when it comes to socks there were a couple uh, variations so the original pleasant company socks um, had a pretty thick weave 
very, very thick socks. We're hard to get shoes on with them. They're, you know, very big. They slowly streamlined that, made them a little bit smaller. And then this is kind of what the American Girl version ended up as. Very tiny, uh, kind of a very tightly woven to indicate the pattern, but not, not the same level of detail as the Pleasant Company version. And then... Oh my gosh. So there are a lot of sets in this here. I'm going to start with the Songbird and Sweets set. So the Songbird is uh, Sunny. This is Madeer's bird. And the door of this bird cage opens. Um, I've never tried to take the bird out. I'm sure if you like if I was a child and had this, I would have tried to get that bird out. Absolutely. But um, the bird sits on the little perch. And then there is a tiny container of candies with a yellow ribbon. And when you remove the ribbon inside are tiny candies. And then there's also a note inside. And the note looks like this and it just says happy birthday Addie from your friend Madeer April 9th 1865 and I've never taken the candies out of the bag but they are uh, I think it's pronounced Benny candies but um, they're candies with sesame seeds so they were all hand painted you can see the little paint uh, stripes to indicate the sesame seeds which are so cute and then it goes in there and then, um, this is Addie's Lazy Susan Table and Chairs. Um, it took me a while to pick which table I wanted because I wanted to find one that had um, cool looking black marks on it. So all of the tables were had like sponge painted details um, with black paint on top. Um, and so I wanted to find one that had, you know, a interesting design. Some, some of them, you can tell that the people that were painting them got uh, very excited about the sponge painting. So there's some that have a lot of, uh, kind of sponge marks. And then there's some that have very few. The later that you get, when you get to like the American Girl versions, that sponge painting detail is pretty much gone. Um, so the Lazy Susan actually works. It rotates like this. And then the chairs are woven with straw and they're just a nice solid kind of deep, deep navy blue black uh, colored chair. And then um, for Addie's party dishes or Addie's dishes, she has her iron compote set, which is amazing. So there's a little copper pitcher. I really need to polish this. You can kind of see the color it's supposed to be inside there. Um, and then that also came with the compotes, which oh, the, the detail on these is so amazing. I mean, let me find the... They have a little, there it is, leaf pattern. So beautiful. Um, these lavender glass tumblers. A fun detail, which is the napkin rings. So you can see that they have numbers on them. And that's um, uh, something that was common in boarding houses. Your napkin would go in a napkin ring that was numbered so that you always knew which napkin was yours because everybody in the household was eating dinner together. So I always thought that was a really neat little detail. Um, fork and spoon, which I believe this is the same silverware that comes with, I think it's Kirsten. Um, I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but the silverware is not nothing special. And then... Uh, this metal, uh, the pie plate, which the pie can come out and then the two slices can come out and then there are little scoops of ice cream. And I believe actually this and the, what came with the set? So the uh, Ironstone compound set was just the sort of tableware and then the party treats included uh, these flowers in the milk bottle, the lantern, this banner that says, uh, my heart is glad my country is free, um, the server, the pie plate, the pie, the ice cream scoops, and that was all included. Yeah, so that was part of the party treat set, and then the ironstone compote set was the sort of like articles to eat it with. 
And then moving on to uh, one of the cooler things. So Samantha had this too. This is Addie's ice cream maker. And this is a real ice cream maker. You can legit make ice cream for this. I don't know anyone who would because it would be like the tiniest little mouthful of ice cream ever. Um, but this kind of comes out. There's a metal canister that you put the ingredients in. Then you fill the rest of it with ice and salt. And then these pieces go on so that you can uh, rotate it to mix it which is really cool. It came with instructions. Samantha and Addie initially were released with identical ice cream makers themselves, but the pamphlets are different. So Addie's ice cream says making Addie's ice cream. And Samantha's is one that just has like, I think it just says making ice cream or ice cream on it. Uh, but the one that was marketed with Addie specifically has Addie's ice cream on it. And then, um, one of the variations. So I have most of the re-released things too. Uh, they kind of combined all of this together and made what is called um, Addie's Ice Cream Set, which it came with only forks, but the same forks. Uh, it came with doilies too, um, similar doilies, different sort of pattern. The bowls changed, so they're no longer that beautiful um, crackle finish, but they're just plain white bowls with a gold uh rim and then instead of the milk bottle it came with a plain white vase uh flowers are pretty much the same these are also the same as oh there's hair in that um these are also the same as Addie's flower picking flowers and then uh one of the biggest like bummers is they made the pie uh plastic the tray is still metal and then they kind of put the ice cream attached to the pie. I don't know. I have this just because it, I needed it for the collection, but uh, the real winner is the original. It's so much better. And now we are on to Addie's Summer Story, which has one of her most expensive items in it um, that I cannot wait to show you. Uh, so Addie's Summer Story. This is her dress, which is one of my favorites in her collection. It has this adorable floral print and then a little brooch that is on a gold pin made of berries and it's such a cute dress and then it came with a straw hat with a uh, black uh, gingham ribbon and then this is marketed with her boots her two-toned boots which these um you will often see dolls wearing these boots incorrectly the laces do not go on the outside they go on the inside and the reason for that is because when um, someone would have them put on you would then put your foot up on your knee to tie them that was purely so that they could be tied by the the owner mine are a little bit dirty these are the original uh pleasant company version um they're very difficult to get on Addie's feet um I cannot put these on her when she's got socks on. She hardly ever wears them, but they're really cute. Had to have them. So those are Addie's two-toned boots. And then also uh, with this set, move that up there for a minute, um, is her gardening set. So this is a real metal hoe on a wood uh, wooden dowel. And then she's got her basket of produce, really cute. There are lots of different variations of this. Mine is um, kind of a mid version where it is partially paper. There are some that the whole, like all of them are completely um, like resin moldings. Um, there's a set somewhere out there. The very, very earliest set has an elusive white turnip in it. Uh, never found the white turnip, but um, I have one that looks like that. There's supposed to be two eggplants. I can't find my other eggplant. I know it's around here somewhere. And it's in like a little straw basket. And then the best thing in Addie's collection, in my opinion, is her puppet show, her school, her spool puppet show. It came with two little puppets. So a little soldier puppet. Oh my gosh, adorable. And then a little dog puppet. So cute. And they hang, there's little uh, dowels on the back that holds the puppet pieces. 
And then uh, with this puppet set, so this stage comes apart. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Um, this slides out and you can flip it over so everything fits in the box. There are these grooves back here which allow you to put in the backdrops. So there's one that's already made and then there are, uh, there's one that's completely blank and then this one has a blank back. The only thing that I am salty about is they have the print at the bottom and when you put it in for display, you can still see the print. I wish they would have just put that on like a piece of paper or something because I'm sure everyone could have figured it out. Uh, but that is so cute. And then it also comes with a tiny wooden slide whistle, which uh, actually comes up and down and actually whistles, which is so cute. Adorable, adorable. Um, this puppet show set is one of the rarer pieces in Addie's collection. Um, I've, I've seen them more often, I want to say, in the last few months. Um, but this time last year, around the holidays, uh, you could not find it anywhere. I was very, very lucky. Uh, my partner found one for me on eBay and purchased it without me knowing. And then on Christmas morning, I got to open it up just like I was a happy child. Uh, so that was really exciting for me. Um, very small collection, you know, just the outfit and two accessory sets. Um, but adorable. Oh my gosh, and as I was putting that away and getting the next set, I realized I forgot the watering can that comes with her gardening set, which is also so freaking cute. Uh, but yeah, little watering can, although I have heard that if you put water in this, it rusts really, really easily. Um, I, don't, I don't think I would ever put water in it, but if you have the desire to water tiny plants with her tiny watering can, just make sure you dry it really well afterwards. But yeah, that's her watering can. So cute. All right, so now we're finally moving on to Addie's winter story, which uh, goes along with changes for Addie. Um, so let's get started here. So like in most of the collections, it always included some type of outerwear. So this is Addie's coat. It's a beautiful hunter green wool. Um, and then it's got a stitched on like plaid detail that's meant to look like a scarf with some fringe at the bottom. Um, Addie's collection is full of just clothing made of beautiful fabrics. Um, also marketed with Addie, uh, Addie's winter outfit were her little hand knit mittens and knee warmers. And this is, this is an original version that is hand knit. Uh, one of the ways that you can tell is on the tags. Some of the tags will say machine knit and some of them will say hand knit. So this one says... Hand Knitting Pleasant Company 1984. So this is one of the like the originals. Um, and you'll see that variation on like Kirsten's Knit Woolens. There'll be either hand knit or machine knit tags. Um, and this also has um, her velvet navy cap. And then also included in her winter story are her, is her underwear sets. Sorry, the mailman is outside and they are, um, chihuahuas so they like to be loud and obnoxious this is her hoop this would go tie around her waist and it would make her skirts blouse out and this is actually i think really cool it says um pleasant's patented frames which is really cute um, and then she's got a petticoat which the color of this actually looks really good under her summer dress her saves the day dress uh, and i know that this is technically for like cold weather but it just looks so cute because the, the the berry color of this really matches that dress well so that's her petticoat and then she's also got an undershirt which is just a simple simple little shift with one button velcro closure at the front and then um her winter amusements um included a mancala board with tiny little i think these are supposed to be um split peas or beans uh, for that and there's a whole bag of them in this little plaid bag that ties shut um, a Sansa which is a type of finger piano that actually plays and then a puzzle that um, you can lay out all of the pieces to create different scenes I guess they all fit together and that's really cute that's a really fun set I love this tiny man collar board because you can actually again you can actually play this if you had someone to play with that's so cool 
Um, and then one of her, one of another one of her harder to find items is her band box. So it's a purple box. It's made out of a very thin wood and paper mache. So um, this is one of the more fragile pieces in her collection. Like if you had a kid, were a kid and stepped on this, it would be a goner forever. It's got a little leather strap that goes around it. And then I just think this is really cute. One of the cute little details. There's a piece of a tiny newspaper in the bottom, which is just a fun thing that they didn't have to do. And then her cutter sled, which is beautiful. This was a present from Addie's father. It's got a little gold bell hanging off of it, a string, and then this is all wood. Now, this is one of the uh, kind of only items really in the beginning of Pleasant Company that um, this back piece is made of plastic. This has never been made in, with wood. It has always been made as a plastic piece, which is uh, kind of unusual for most of the pieces in uh, all of the collections. Um, I actually am trying to think of now if there's anything like in Kirsten or Samantha or Felicity's collection that it has like that much plastic in it. And they really don't. And I'm guessing it probably just was difficult to get the shape made in a cost-effective manner for the sled, but it's still a really lovely piece. Um, when mine came to me, uh, these had to be glued back on because they had fallen off uh, on the side here, but so cute. And that is Eddie's winter collection. All right, so now we are on to Sweet Dreams Addie, and this is all of the items uh, that would be featured on her Treasures and Collections page. Um, so I'm going to start with her nightgown. This is just a plain white flannel nightgown. Very cute. Lace detailing on the sleeves and on the collar. Little buttons, and then it Velcros in the back. And this, um, instead of having like a robe and slippers, she has a heart warmer and slippers. So just knit gray booties and then the heart warmer, which goes around kind of like a shawl and then ties in the front. Um, now this is another piece that um, the first earliest editions have uh, hand knit tags on them. Then the, the tags will slowly move to machine knit. Um, so kind of keep an eye out for that. And then, you know, the traditional tags uh, for American Girl are just say American Girl. And this is her rope bed and her washstand with her nighttime necessities in her family album quilt. So when Pleasant Company initially released the beds, the coverlets were not typically included. Molly's came with hers. Um, Felicity's, I believe, came with hers. But uh, maybe even Samantha's came with hers. But Kirsten's and Addie's both were um, a separate piece. So when you bought the bed, it was just the bed, mattress, and pillow. The mattress is the same one that comes with Felicity's bed. It is just a muslin fabric, um, like an unbleached muslin fabric. And then underneath Addie's robe bed, it is actually, it's, it's with twine. Um, and this is where the phrase actually sweep, sleep tight came from because the tighter the rope bed was tied, the more comfortable it was to sleep. If it, this was not tied well, you would not get a very comfortable sleep. Um, so that's the, the mattress, the rope bed, beautiful honey colored wood. You can see the speckling of the paint on the wood. It was really lovely. Came with a pillow. And then the family album quilt. Um, which it has a the same sort of black plaid on her, um, I think it's her summer hat, same plaid fabric as is on the ribbon there. And then this is um, this is all one piece of fabric, so this is a just a big print, but it was then machine knit around it to look like it had been embroidered, which. Um, you know, I appreciate that they did that to make it feel a little bit more special, um, but it's it's really lovely. The colors on this are beautiful. Um, it's got a, a scalloped edge around, you know, the three sides of it, uh, and it's just, it, it's beautiful. They redid this for Be Forever with a blue pattern. I don't know. I don't have it. I don't like it. I'll eventually buy it just so I have a complete, complete Eddie collection. Um, 
but this is this is the one that I like. And then uh, her wash stand with her nighttime necessities. So again, the same color, same colored wood, a very nice honey colored wood with that black speckle detail. This is her nighttime book. Um, hers is Mother Goose and Hieroglyphics, which is actually really fun to read. Um, it's a bunch of kind of little riddles that you have to uh, kind of guess based on the pictures, which I think that's adorable. And then it also came with a towel, just a plain cream colored towel, and then her wash basin, um, a pitcher and bowl. It's really cute. And then the book, the book fits on either on the bottom shelf or in that drawer. All right. And then some of the other little extras that you could buy for Addie were her ribbon set, ribbons for Addie. Uh, the green one is the same green that came with her Christmas outfit. However, the white grosh grain, red grosh grain, and um, blue and green plaid could only be purchased in the ribbon set. Um, this is an item today, like the ribbon sets, I don't know why, I feel like people just didn't buy them because it was just ribbons. Um, so finding the ribbons today can be a challenge. I was really lucky finding this set. Um, the, the white one, I mean, it pretty much goes with anything. This plaid looks really nice with her winter coat. I also really like this plaid with her kite stilting or her stilting outfit. Uh, the red one I put with her summer outfit. Um, they're just, uh, they're nice to have. Um, I'm crazy, and so I refuse to use any ribbon that is not marketed with her collection. Uh, so those are good. And then uh, something else that you could get were her optional shoes and sock set. Um, one of the things with Pleasant Company is, you know, historically, girls would not have many, many pairs of shoes. And so Addie's outfits were not marketed with separate like with shoes all the time um and that's just because that wasn't historically accurate you were lucky if you had one pair of shoes maybe two um so this is um an optional set that you could buy for her with a pair of navy boots um this is the pleasant company version you can see that the bottoms of the soles are the same as her meat boots and then it came with three pairs of socks her birthday socks her meat socks and then a pair of white socks the only way to get her white socks was to get her shoes and socks set now this set also i have a, a mattel version from american girl they're a more vibrant blue the bottoms are plastic they're not um like that nice I don't know what kind of material that is, but they're plastic on the bottom. They're white on the inside. They feel a lot like cheaper than these do. And then the socks that were included, you can see the socks really got small um, in the Mattel days. So this is what the white socks look like that came with those. Um, the black socks are obviously the same as her her meat socks. And I showed you what the, the birthday sock option looks like. But um, yeah, so definitely I would, I would recommend if you are getting pleasant company shoes and socks sets they're better just because the socks for Addie are bigger which means they kind of go on easier these ones are so small they don't really fit as well especially on the older dolls who are a little bit more chunky um so yeah keep an eye out uh for that all right so now some of Addie's separately sold outfits this is Addie's work dress and it came with a plain blue muslin dress, or cotton, this is, I think it's cotton, plain blue cotton dress, little buttons on the, the front. And then that also came with a pinafore, this green plaid pinafore, um, has a really interesting design. And then there's a tiny pocket right here that you are meant to put uh, clothes pins in. She came with three wooden clothes pins. I have Addie's hair on me. Um, three wooden clothes pins. Mine are still in the package and then this also was marketed with her work shoes which I have two different variants here this is the uh, pleasant company version you can see the bottoms are a harder plastic they are black on the inside and then this is a Mattel American Girl version um, actually the same type of bottom um, same I think it's like this is a little bit thicker of a plastic on the bottom but the the insides are white um, so the Pleasant Company and the Mintel, they're otherwise, they're pretty much identical. You know, not a super huge difference. I'd say these are a little bit shorter in the front. 
so that when Addie's wearing them, you see more of her sock exposed. Um, but these, and these, these are the hardest shoes to find for Addie, the work shoes. Um, I was really lucky. Uh, the pair on this side, I actually found a doll wearing in her auction and I bought the doll for less than what the shoes cost. So I was able to get the shoes that way. These ones I got new and a lot, um, with some other things. Um, so I got lucky getting them both. Um, but these are definitely, this is the hardest pair of shoes you'll find for Addie. All right, and this is Addie's patriotic party dress. This is one of my favorite dresses on Addie. I think it looks really, really sweet with her. Um, it is a Swiss dot red dress with a lace border along the bottom, the cuffs and the top. And then it came with a ribbon sash that has a tiny Abraham Lincoln on it. And this just um, has a little... Uh, what is this called? Um, snap closure. And then a tiny version of the Emancipation Pro Proclamation tied with a green ribbon. She reads this um, at a school function, or no, at church. She's, she's lucky enough to be chosen to read this at church. And then one of Addie's, uh, I think, cutest outfits as well is her stilting outfit. So this is the bloomers that go underneath. They have a plaid on the cuffs. And then it is a purple dress with a bodice detail with those stripes again on it and buttons all the way down. And this this was her limited edition 1997 outfit. All of the dolls got um, limited edition outfits and hers was her stilting outfit and it came with these little wooden stilts. So cute. Another limited edition dress that Addie has in her collection is um, known as Many Things. Uh, originally, this dress was released and called her kite flying dress, and it included the blue dress, the um, black and white gingham ribbon, and this adorable kite, which um, has a really cute pattern on it. Uh, and it is, it's plastic, so the, the kite itself is plastic, has a tail. This is wire so that Addie can hold it up and it looks like she's actually flying the kite. Um, so that was what that was referred to as. Then it was re-released without the kite, but with a bunch of flowers and called Addie's flower picking dress. Um, but then they decided to just dump the flowers and then they released this as Addie's blue dress. Um, it's really beautiful. The ma material is very thin. Um, you can kind of see through it a little bit. This, I feel like, is a great summer dress to display Addie in. I love the blue color. Um, you can see it very up close that the material has um, a striped detail going down. This ribbon um, is very difficult to find with the dress, but this is my favorite ribbon in Addie's entire collection. I put this with pretty much everything um, just because it looks really beautiful pretty much with everything. So um, I definitely recommend trying to find this one. This is one of the easier to find dresses just because it was released so many times under so many different names um, that it's a good limited edition dress to try to get, especially when the next dress I'm going to show you is so hard to find. Dun, 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 so this is Eddie's Cape Island dress. This is the rarest dress in her collection. Um, this dress alone sells for like 300 bucks. It's ridiculous. I was lucky and got mine in a lot um, that I think people didn't really realize it was in it. So um, I was very fortunate there. It comes with a pink plaid ribbon. Uh, really cute. And then the dress itself is just amazing. It is pleated along the top and has this beautiful piping. Um, this is one of those dresses that was based off of a real dress um, from the same time period, um, which actually, hold on just a second. And one of the last limited edition outfits for Addie um, is this beautiful striped dress. It's got a pretty gingham pattern and then it's matched with a striped material and then this green. This is lovely for fall. Um, I think that the, the colors really look nice on Addie. Um, this is a dress that uh, I think starts to get a little bit, maybe a little bit inaccurate. Um, 
just because I don't, I don't think I've seen very many dresses with this like uh, mixture of ruffles and plaid and striped and color, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. And then um, it came with a headband instead of just a ribbon. It's like got an elasticated bit in the back so that you can put this on the top of Addie's head. I never really use this because it's really difficult to get it sitting right. Uh, but the dress itself is very lovely. Now we're starting to really get into the Mattel era of things. This is Addie's Sunday Best. This is probably my favorite of her newer outfits just because it's a really sweet little dress. Um, you can kind of see there's some stitching detail up at the top, a ribbon there. It's just a sweet purple dress and then little hat uh, with flowers on it, ties under her chin, um, which is pretty cute. Again, though, um, I think that it's starting to get a little bit more inaccurate in terms of what Addie would have actually had, uh, but nonetheless, it's an adorable dress. Another newer outfit, this is the um, plaid summer set, uh, and it includes a ruffled apron with pockets, um, this plaid dress that's got ruffles on the sleeves, and then um, a pink ribbon and then these are the same as her high button shoes just in a white and cream color um this to me really does not scream addy uh, i think this screams more like uh you know this looks more like a samantha outfit in my opinion um so my addy doesn't really wear this also be warned this dress is super duper tight so if you've got an older addy like i do it really doesn't fit that well. You really have to squeeze. This definitely fits Mattel dolls much better. Um, but it's it's sweet for what it is. Uh, just not something that um, I really think is very addy. All right, so now we're getting into some of the Bee Forever clothing. Bee Forever is not my favorite for Addy. I do think that they kind of, I don't know, they by doing all of the characters in a one color thing, I think they kind of ruined <laughs> their the historical accuracy of the clothing and things like that. Um, I don't think Addie would have had a nightgown like this, um, but you know, who knows? So uh, this is her Be Forever nightgown. It has little bows that you can clip into her hair and little slippers. Adorable, just not very Addie in my eyes. And then this is her new released um, school set, um, much thinner wool a light blue uh with little bows that go in the sides again just like the, the nightgown um nothing wrong with it i just i miss the original i miss the details of the different colored fabrics along the waistband and things like that and i miss the this being two separate pieces instead this is all just one piece all together um it's fine it's just not my favorite i just have it because i need all of the addy things one of the cooler items I think that American Girl came out with are the scenes and settings. So these are huge books that open up to different scenes so that you could put your Addie doll in front of them and have like a space to act out um, parts of the book that you really enjoyed. And last but not least is Addie's trunk. Addie's trunk is the coolest trunk of all of the trunks in Pleasant Company's history, I think. It is a beautiful wooden trunk with this, like, black iron around the edges. This lifts off. Um, my trunk does not have the little piece that ties and slides through because it arrived that way. Mine's pretty beat up. It was really hard for me to find one um, to buy that would ship. Uh, and inside is so cool. They've got, again, old newspaper articles inside of it. It stays held open with this piece of twine. And then the shelf that goes into it looks like this. Oh my gosh, you can see the giant mess of Addy and items around from the, making this video. Um, and what's neat about it, it has a secret compartment so you see this piece slides in and when you push on it here it makes it so you can lift that out to expose that secret compartment and then it fits in just like this 
Now, um, I have been able to get most of Addie's collection in here. Obviously not her, not her table and chairs, not her, her nightstand or her bed or anything like that, but I can fit all of her clothing in here. Um, and most of her accessories, um, except for like her nighttime necessities always stay out and her birthday dishes and stuff always stay out and on her table, but everything else for the most part fits in here. And that is everything that I have in my collection for Addie. That is the complete Pleasant Company collection. Um, I am missing a few B for Everythings just because I don't like them, but eventually I will buy them because... I want a complete, complete collection. Um, so the things that I do not have are her um, Be Forever Lunch. It's all kind of plastic pieces. Her Be Forever Crinoline, which is like the updated um, underwear set. Um, her Be Forever Bed, um, Be Forever Meat Outfit, uh, the dress and sewing set, the hairstyling set. Um, they're all just not to my taste, but that is the complete Pleasant Company collection minus the one sprig of holly. Um, and then a few other like bonus items. So I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at all of it. And uh, let me know if you want to see um, another collection video of like Felicity or Felicity is probably my closest to completion collection after Addie. I'm missing just like a few things. Um, but yeah, have a great day.